Hey everybody, I'm in South Wales. It's a, it's a gorgeous day. And uh, a few months ago I was in America. And uh, anybody that knows me knows I love the news. I love to read the news. Uh, because the news, a lot of times, goes along with the Bible. And the Bible is clear about what the last days will be like before the coming of Christ. Lots of lovely people out here today, uh, but I'm sad to say there was a very wicked man that lived in this city. And I'm standing on the very spot where this city once blessed this wicked man. I'm talking about the lead singer of the Lost Prophets. See, not too long ago, in this very spot where I stand, this city was proud of the Lost Prophets. See, the Lost Prophets were a very famous band, even in my nation in America. Many people listened to their music, and uh, they were famous. But see, the lead singer of the Lost Prophets, he didn't live too far from here. He doesn't live here now, folks. He's in jail for 35 years. He didn't rob a bank. He didn't hit the Pope. You know what the lead singer of the Lost Prophets did? He raped babies. That's right. The people that were fans of the Lost Prophets were so into him, they were lost their self. They were lost following the lost. Now the Bible says the blind leading the blind will surely fall into a ditch. And the lead singer of the Lost Prophets had talked his fans into allowing them to give him their babies. And this man was having sex with babies. And the guy's girlfriend told people, he told the police for over five years that this was going on. And when it all came out, he had so much child pornography on his uh, computer that the South Wales police said it's some of the worst they've ever seen. Thank God these mothers are going to jail. The mothers that gave their babies to this pervert, pedophile from this city, are in jail rotting along with this wicked man. Now, the Bible says this in the book of Proverbs. The thoughts, the thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure are pleasant words. Why would you do the video right here? Because this is where the city honored the lost prophets. Now, the good thing about this city is when this wicked pervert was put into jail, this city uprooted the praise to lost prophets. It used to be right here. They uprooted no longer did they come into agreement with him or praise him anymore. They uprooted and they're ashamed of him now. Praise God for the character in the people in this city that do not honor perverts and pedophiles. Now, this city says, guide me, O thou, thou great redeemer. Oh, guide me, thou great redeemer. I feel the Holy Spirit right now because I feel like God wants to bring revival to this city. And I'm going to pray right here, right now. God, I pray for the spirit of revival to invade this city, God, where they have not honored the false lost prophet anymore. But God, they have honored you by saying, God, guide us. Guide us, thou great redeemer. So this city is asking for a redeemer. And I believe the sun is shining on this city today. And also the son of God. 
is broken for this city. The Bible says God is near the brokenhearted. And I believe that this city mourned as this man was taken off to jail. And God saw your hearts, and he wants to restore you and bring revival to this city. Now, who is the Redeemer? You've asked, Wells. You've asked on the very walkway of your steps. You've asked to guide me. Guide me. That means guide me. That means personal. Personally, guide me, oh, thou great Redeemer. You've asked the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the great I am. You've asked the Redeemer. You've asked Jesus Christ, Wells, to redeem you. You've asked Him to guide you. I am here, and I'm not a lost prophet. I am a prophet of the Most High God. I'm an evangelist from America. Jesus Christ has changed my life. And I believe the Lord has sent me here today to point you the way. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father, the Redeemer, except through Him. See, Jesus is the Redeemer. You've asked for the Redeemer. That means you've asked to hear a message of the Gospel. You've asked to be guided, Wells. You've asked to be, to be redeemed, Wells. And I'm telling you, the Redeemer, His name is Jesus Christ. He is a great Redeemer. He's the only Redeemer. He's the glory and the lifter of our heads. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, according to the Scriptures. He bled, He died, and He arose again. He was seen by many. He is the Redeemer. He will save you. He will set 